The following is a hoop ball presentation. Hoop ballers. Yeah. Just gonna let that music kind of roll over, roll in. It's been it's been a while. Have some of that nice smooth jazz. Well, hey, welcome back once again. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. 2020 yesterday was the fourth obviously but you know star wars may the fourth be with you well hey folks this is a hoop ball presentation i'm devin ellington at d-a-l-e on twitter hoop ball gaming is the proud creator of this podcast like I said, we are a hoop ball presentation. That's hoop ball.com. And you know, we do cover sports gambling and handicapping and trying to profit your pockets. There hasn't been a whole lot of that going on lately, obviously. So as of right now, things are a little weird. The climate's a little lukewarm, and people are um, strange. Thank you, Jim Morrison. Um, but the silver lining of this cloud is that there are leagues popping up all over the globe, and they are exciting. I stayed up till about four, <clears throat> excuse me, five in the morning my time, watching the Korean baseball organization. The NC Dinos took on Samsung. Can't remember their mascot. I'll look that up and get back to you. It was a really good game. Really good pitching. Really good pitching. MLB prospect on one side for Samsung. It was a shutout game until I think the fifth or the sixth inning. And then um, one of the sluggers for the uh, Dinos for NC uh, hit a solo shot to right field to break the tie. And then there's a two-run bomb later on and then a tack on with some base running at the end of the game for a 4-0 NC Dinos win. The Dinos are actually projected to be one of the favorites to win it all this year. And I tell you what, the KBO does it cool. They do it really neat. The regular season matters. So it's based off the number of wins or points or some odd thing accumulated. And then you determine your playoff standing based off your regular season. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Devin, that happens in every sporting event. And I say, yeah, but this is different. Because if you finish the season with the most wins in the KBO, you're automatically in the finals. So, it's pretty cool. Um, Some familiar names. If you like baseball, Tyler Saladino might ring a bell. He's a prospect a few years back. I think he was actually deciding on transitioning between the MLB and the KBO this year. Um, And then fate has it with COVID-19. He stayed over in Korea. And I know way too much about the KBO already. And, man. Anyways, the presentation was good. It's on ESPN, ESPN uh, 2, I believe. Um, They did it really well. The Sunday Night Baseball crew, Carl Ravish, uh, and um, another member, Pedro. I can't remember his last name. Um, But they they did it kind of like what they did with the draft, where it's uh, simulcast. Anywho, we're going to talk about a little bit of stuff here and there. I'm going to dazzle you with some stuff, and uh, we're going to talk about whatever we can scrounge up. Um, The NFL draft was really, really fun. Um, You know, wasn't really put out there that much, but I did do a side 
little NFL draft broadcast live stream coverage kind of thing and I really dug into this draft more so than I have with the drafts in the past that was fun did it with some friends here locally in Kansas City um looking forward to seeing what the draft does to NFL futures those are still very well and alive um Nicaraguan baseball yes Yes, yes, yes. I won some money on that the other day. I'm going to start churning out some content on Twitter. I wanted to see how these leagues kind of started developing as far as the crisis. Um, there are no fans in the stands for the Korean and uh, <clears throat> Nicaraguan baseball, Turkish league, um, you know, soccer is not uh, allowing fans. So, and another thing that's been really exciting is the table tennis. I was live betting on that for four hours the other day, just on my PC, just clicking away, watching the momentum of the games, the points, the sets, the matches, remembering some names and then rolling their momentum through the bracket, through the tournaments. And um, yeah, that was pretty fun. Russian and Czech, Slovakian. Um, divisions you know there's like six or seven different pools there was like 80 different games on at uh you know 10 in the morning and then it goes all the way Uh, you know because there's even brazilian ones uh you know i was live betting at one in the morning and saying that out loud now that sounds really ridiculous anywho um you know right now we are not sponsored by anyone you know, usually we do the my bookie read at the uh, at the beginning, but you know, as times has it right now, that kind of thing is on a standstill unless someone wants to uh, step up. You know, if we want to get that rolling, um, was thinking about doing like a fundraiser thing. Kind of want to check that out. If anyone knows anything, has any ideas, definitely tweet at any of the profiles associated with this great podcast network. Our main man, Dan Bespris, at Dan Bespris on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, we have content that's going to start turning a lot here soon, I believe. There's baseball futures and divisional breakdowns that I'm looking forward to. It's weird. Sports disappeared. And then whatever scrounge, uh, scraps was left, you know, usually – I feel like I would have picked those up and ran with them right away for for some reason. And for as strange of a time as it was, I think I neglected those little pieces of what sports there kind of was, including the e-simulated stuff and the gambling that you could do on that. And there was stuff, there was content, you know, there's no reason there shouldn't have been an episode for as long as there has been. And, uh, you know, that's on me, you know, uh, we're looking forward to getting our listeners turned back up, steam pumping. We're going to be rolling here, guys. Um, some of these seasons are going to be kicking off here soon. NASCAR is doing races. Um, you're going to start to see America look over and see how Korea, Turkey, all these other countries are doing their leagues, see how it goes. And then, you know, roll from there. Uh, baseball, you know. Man, it, it could be a heavy baseball season. Football might get pushed a little bit, but there's always futures and prospects to talk about. Me digging into this draft coverage lately has got me looking at a bunch of stuff down the road. Um, there's always transfer portal names for the NCAA basketball. Y'all tell me what you want me to dig into, really. You know, everyone's got their varying interests, and if there's something that you guys want to hear about – more so than some other stuff or what I'm talking about currently or what we may currently be looking to get into. So you let me know. You let us know. But we want to get the steam rolling on this again and get you guys informed on some ways to make some money. And that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys. Once again, I am Devin Ellington at D-A-L-E 007. 
on Twitter. And keep your eyes peeled for new episodes of the podcast. We're going to be getting rolling here again here soon, guys. And with that, I bid you adieu. Glad to hear from you again. Hope all is well. Times are weird, but they will get better. Thanks for listening. I'll be in touch. See you next time. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation.